My name is Stephen Ibaraki. I'm uh, chairing different investment groups and also impact groups around the world, including in the top science organizations. And my, my call, my spirit for life, my passion is to make the world better in any possible way, whether it's tech for good or AI for good, and having to execute in a way that's measurable, where I can have gains that I can you know, call upon. You know, I've had a passion for tech for good and AI, uh, and AI for good since I built the computer when I was 10, built some of the first uh, uh, microcomputers and enterprise computers in healthcare with AI. And I was always participating and interested in the UN, for example, prior to the release of the Millennium Development Goals in 2000, I was suggesting that I should embed AI or some kind of tech to support those Millennium Development Goals in 2000. They ignored me. However, in the lead up to the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals released in 2015, they listened. I actually presented in New York. I suggested that they should implement AI and other tech. And you'll find in the SDGs, tech is interwoven into the you know, the execution of all of those uh, sustainable development goals that came out in 2015. So from that, and from that empowerment, then I went to one of the UN agencies called ITU, and I said, how about AI and something for the betterment of SDGs? And that became AI for good. And in fact, went on the road to support them. Uh, we, we launched the summit, was really successful. Now it's institutionalized, it's actually quite well known across all of the UN agencies, all the governments are supporting it, corporations and so on. So that's a, that's a big joy to see this realization of AI for good uh, reasons or good purposes. But we see that narrative occurring in, in science organizations that I'm part of, like the ACM, where the world's largest computer science organization. We definitely have embedded in all the things we doing, tech for good, AI for good, helping, uh, it, it, realize the potential of people around the world, whether it's education, healthcare, but using technology. I'm also embedded in the IEEE. We're the world's largest technology engineering organization. Again, if you look at all of our programs, it's about tech for good or AI for good, or the use of uh, using uh, various aspects of technology for the betterment of society, whether, whether it's a healthcare or climate or energy, you name it, we're embedded in those areas. So I actually work across the UN agencies as a founder of AI for Good. I'm a founder of the Advisory Council for the World Food Program. We're the world's largest UN agency. Uh, we have the world's largest uh, innovation accelerator, uh, enabling things like healthcare, climate, logistics, while all tied to food. And then of course, um, the AI for Good program has something called the, in the Innovation Factory, where we're allowing and, and supporting any startups that are doing technology for the better, you know, enabling the planet in a, in a positive way. So I work across that community. I also work across CEO communities. Um, for example, I've been supporting an organization called YPO, Young Presidents Organization for some years now. I chaired their Impact Advisory Board for the Impact Networks Council. Um, we've launched our, uh, for a number of years now, our Global Impact Summit. So that's a kind of a CEO activity. And in fact, in a couple of weeks, uh, or in fact, the next two weeks, I'm keynoting two uh, CEO conferences. But embedded in that is how can we make the world better? Where is technology going? How can we leverage it for all the different aspects of society and for, for life and, and more? But I'm also an investor. Uh, I've been on the investment committee of the Canadian uh, Sovereign fund, um, something under the Innovation Science Economic Development uh, Ministry of, of the government. And of course, and when we do funding, we look for things like, you know, what positive impact it's going to have and so on. So so even in investments or, or CEO communities and science communities or UN agencies, it's all about let's let's make the world better. I was so thrilled to get an, an invitation to participate in AI Everything Global. It's the launch, it's amazing. So for example, I was actually in Abu Dhabi on February uh, 4th, uh, speaking, moderating, and then did that again uh, yesterday, uh, two panels, and then of course today. So what has been the theme 
throughout all of my speaking here and interviews, it's about technology, about AI. How, what are the opportunities that are available? What are, what are some of the challenges? How can we overcome the challenges? How can we come together and collaborate to help in healthcare, to education, to enable population, to enable diversity, to, to make sure there's a global collaboration? And so it, it's been a thrilling uh, opportunity here. And today I also judged uh, startups. And every one of the startups had amazing solutions in company and technology, particularly AI. And, and we actually chose the, the winners, but really they were all winners by collaborating, presenting here, uh, really a lot of innovation. And I would say that's AI Everything Global is just an amazing event. I would say the UAE as a region is an amazing region. And the collective force, whether it's from business and or the UN or nonprofits or an academia, uh, you know, investment communities, whatever the communities are, they need to look at what's happening here because there's such a central point for innovation, collaboration and impacting the world in a very positive way. Now, how do I know about this? I actually do something like over 5,000 engagements this year. That's, and that's both virtual, small, small events or small kind of engagements and, and larger ones like this one here and CEO events and so on. So I'm, I'm, I'm heavily scheduled, but it's been such a thrill to see all of the innovative uh, collaborative uh, energy that's present in the UAE region with Dubai here. And then earlier I was in Abu Dhabi. So let, let me kind of describe where we are today and keep in mind, you can cut this out. So let, let me describe where we're, where, where we're going today. We are an amazing inflection point for the planet. There's more change and innovation occurring in the next five years than all of past human history. Because of this convergence, it's a, like a magical convergence of supercomputing, quantum computing, chip technologies, biomedical innovation, all integrated seamlessly with AI and machine learning. And that's why it's an inflection point for the planet, for humanity, for the region. It's gonna affect governments, industry, education, academia. It's gonna affect people's lives and so on. So it's a pivotal point for you to realize that you're gonna be part of this to shape the future of the world. And how do you do that? By collaborating, reaching out together, being understanding, and making sure that you recognize the inherent talent that's in all of us and, and, and really focus on that collaboration. Now, a little bit of a tip of how to navigate the future. Always maintain your curiosity. Think in terms of of multi-dimensions or what I call combinatorial thinking and embrace change. And you will be ready to seize all of the opportunities and the innovation that's gonna dramatically change the entire world.